The Holy Tales. <laughs> Thank you, Gumbo. So, our first story is about Andrew, one of Jesus' twelve disciples. Andrew was one of the brothers of Peter and was born to a man named Jonas. He lived in a town called Bethsaida in Capernaum and was a fisherman by profession before Jesus called him to be his disciple and follower. Before becoming Jesus' disciple, Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist. He had heard about Jesus from John's teachings about the Son of God coming to save the people. Once Andrew became Jesus' disciple, he went to places like Scythia, Greece, and Asia Minor to preach his teachings to the people. Andrew's main purpose in life was to bring others to follow Jesus. And that's what he did. And hundreds and hundreds of people soon became Jesus' followers. According to traditional stories, Andrew died a martyr in Achaia, Greece, in a small town called Patra. Andrew died soon after the then governor, Epius's wife, was healed and converted to Christian faith. And shortly after, the governor's brother too became a Christian. This angered Epius, and he arrested Andrew immediately, condemning him to die on the cross. Andrew was supposed to be crucified on the same shaped cross as Jesus. This made Andrew feel unworthy of him, dying on the same shaped cross as his master. He begged Apeus to make his cross different. Apeus agreed and made an X-shaped cross for Andrew on which he was crucified. This cross is still called St. Andrew's Cross which is known as one of his apostolic symbols. Later, a symbol of two crossed fish was also applied to Andrew because before becoming Jesus' disciple, he was a fisherman. So, that was the story of Andrew. That was a really nice story, Holy. The Holy Tales there was another man named James among Jesus' disciples. In the circle of disciples, he was known as James the Younger. James the Younger was born to a man and his wife named Alphaeus and Mary. He lived with his family in Galilee and was also the brother of another disciple called Jude. James the Younger wrote the Epistle of James and he went all around Palestine and Egypt to preach about Jesus and his teachings. It was in Egypt where he was crucified. James was one of the little-known disciples of Jesus. He was a man of strong character and had a very fiery and adventurous personality. Very little is known about James the Younger's death, but many scholars believe that he might have died a martyr too and his body was cut into pieces. And so, the saw became his apostolic symbol. So that was the story of James the Younger. It was a nice story, Holy. Thank you for telling us all about him. To watch more videos, please subscribe. The Holy Tales Jude was another disciple of Jesus who was also known as Thaddeus or Libius. He was born to a man called Cleophas and his wife Mary. He was also the younger brother of James, the younger, and lived with his family in Galilee. Jude preached in places like Assyria and Persia and finally died a martyr in Persia. Jude is often known as the man with three names by many scholars and in the Bible he is often referred to as Judas the Zealot. Jude was very intense as a person. 
and had very strong feelings about his own nation. And he wanted the world to know about Jesus, not as a savior, but as a king. At the Last Supper, he asked Jesus, Lord, why do you want to reveal yourself to us and not the people? To his question, Jesus had explained to him how the way of love is much greater than the way of power. The way of love brought people closer to one another. Jude went to different places to preach about the Gospels. He even went to Edessa, near the Euphrates River, to preach. Wherever he went, he healed many people, and many of them soon became followers of Jesus in the name of the Master. Jude was killed with arrows at Ararat when he was traveling on a ship to other places from Edessa to preach. His chosen apostolic symbol was the ship because he was a missionary thought to be a fisherman. Hmm, that was a good story, Holy. Yes, the Holy Tales. Well, today's story is about Philip. Philip was one of Jesus' disciples who preached in Phrygia. He is known to have died a martyr in Hierapolis. Like Peter and Andrew, Philip too came from the town of Bethsaida, and he too probably was a Galilean fisherman. Philip's name comes to life in the Gospel of John, even though his name was recorded in the first three Gospels. The Gospel of John tells us that Philip was one of the first to whom Jesus addressed the words, Follow me. When Philip met Christ for the first time, he said to Nathanael, We have found him, of whom Moses and the prophets did write. Nathanael was skeptical about following Jesus, but Philip was not, not even once. He was known not to have a skeptic mind. He was simple and had abundant faith in Christ. Philip was a man with a warm and loving heart. He wanted to do a lot of things for others and help them. But he did not understand or see how it could be done. It is said that Philip died by hanging. And before he died, he requested his body to be wrapped in papyrus and not in linen like Jesus, because he thought his body was not worthy of getting treated in the same way as his Lord. His apostolic symbol is a basket, and most importantly, it was Philip who had stressed the cross as the sign of Christianity and victory. Whoa, that was a nice story. So it is because Philip that we have the cross as the sign of Christianity. Hmm, yes. Didn't you enjoy the story? My friends and I surely did. So, come back soon and keep watching. Bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby. Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.